you know, I wrote a script for this video, and I'm scrapping the whole script because, you know, I, I'd rather just wean it. So, here we go. This is a sketchbook tour. This is pretty much everything I have in my folders for illustration, sketches, etc., personas. Uh, yeah, all that. I don't know why I'm doing this video. I just figured I'd do it. Spur some content, I guess. I don't know. I hope you enjoy it. You'll get to listen to my rambling. I'm going to put music underneath me talking. So, there's at least something going on in the silence when I'm not talking. I don't know. Anyway, you can mute me if you want to and just look at the artwork that I need to improve on so badly. None of these are in any specific order as far as like dates and stuff go, but the first half is my personas that I have gone through over the years. The redhead at the beginning, and you'll see this like possibly in my artistic sig signature through some of these illustrations, were uh, Crimson used to be a name that I went by probably a couple of years ago by now. I don't remember how long it's been. It's been like a year, year and a half, but either way, it's something I used to go by. 13 was another one I went by. It, I think it started out as Crimson First, and the way I came up with that name was because I'm a very shy, very awkward person, very antisocial, because it freaks me out, and I get really, really red in the face very easily if I have any attention whatsoever on me and people notice it and I came up with that name when a co-worker of mine commented on how red my face was because uh I don't remember there was some kind of joke going on conversation and I got pulled into it and of course my face went bright red so that's where that name had come from when I first came up with it but I didn't like the name, I wasn't in love with it, and I wasn't in love with uh, the character I came up with. I just played all those drawings for so long. Uh, so I switched over to the purple haired girl and then changed from crimson to 13 because I like that number, because it's my mother's favorite number, because she, she has this opposite thing where she thinks she can turn the unlucky number unlucky by making it her favorite number. At least that's how she explained it to me years ago when I was a kid. So I just kind of incorporated it. And then I still wasn't in love with that because a lot of people are named 13. So I changed it up to Orium or OR13M because it's more of a smushed together name that a good friend of mine created for me. So, and I fell in love with that, created a new character, still with purple because it's my favorite color and added the apron and the smock because one it reminded me of arts because in art class in middle school you had to have some kind of apron or something to make you know paint doesn't get on your nice clothes for the rest of the day and because my first job ever was as a barista and you have to wear an apron <laughs> and that place felt like family to me. And so far, it's the only job I've had where it's really felt like a family to me. And I miss that so much. But anyway, so that's done with personas and we are now already in the fan art and almost out of the fan art. I have never stopped drawing fan arts. I even started drawing fan art. That was how I learned how to draw. I would take the this is going to kind of give away my age, but the VHS tapes of Disney and then the DVD cases of Disney films. I remember drawing Genie from Aladdin, Tinkerbell from Peter Pan, but you know how they have the pictures of all of them on the back and front. I would take that and I would look and I'd draw it. I'd draw it on really crappy newsprint paper that would tear underneath and eraser, but I'd still draw it. That was how I learned. And part of that reason that the paper was so easy to tear is also why I don't have like any of those pieces at all anymore, which sucks. But yeah, no need for a shredder when the paper rips in your hands. 
I'm sorry for going all over the place. I'm not used to speaking, obviously. It's why I usually have scripts for these things. But I really want to wean it now and just talk over things. <laughs> so you're seeing, seeing the real me here. In a manner of speaking. I may eventually go to a webcam. I'm not sure yet. But right now... Yeah, you get me talking. And, uh... I don't really know what to say other than a lot of this was just like that was me trying something new with my artwork. That was definitely something new that I was trying with having lines and I was trying to just use like the paint program and well I think it was in Clip Studio Paint but I was trying to actually just do like building up paint. I stopped doing that because I didn't like it. And that was also no lines, trying to use just paint, shadows, tone, etc. And uh, a lot of these were actually originally, those last two and that one, uh, started off as like traditional art that I then scanned in and redrew as digital because I liked the artwork and I didn't want to let it go and it had a lot of memories attached to them. A lot of these actually have a lot of like good memories attached. Some not so great, but most of them are good because I scrapped the ones that didn't have any memories attached or like didn't have any good memories attached. So how it works for me. Also as a bonus, this abomination came from a conversation that uh, was happening at my job. This was a request from a co-worker of mine. His imagination is insane because someone misspoke and he decided that this needed to be made. He's got the original. This was drawn, I think, first by hand and I gave him that. I don't remember which. I may have printed this out for him, but yeah, that's it. I, yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyway, <laughs> thanks for watching and listening to me ramble. I hope you enjoyed. If not, then I guess you can leave a dislike, but otherwise, like, subscribe, and all that fun stuff, and keep on creating. Bye!